Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode, what, 355 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods. Well, I believe we have been working on trying to optimize how much, or how many crystals and gems we are making, but honestly we're still not doing too well. We can't put productivity in the end. So we lack chunks for the crystals. These are currently producing chunks as fast as they can with this output of nitric wastewater. Also we have a lot of geodes that we should probably take care of. I think we should be allowed to request more than a thousand of each year. Actually go to 16,000. So all the way down here. And simply because if we run out of some of them, we want to be able to fill up a train with the others without having to wait for more to be delivered. I think we should have a look at the train though. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we have limits on how many of each type of geode can be in there? Also, I think we should set up some clarifying of this stuff. Because otherwise we can just bag up on geodes entirely and not be able to get rid of them anymore. But let's wait with that. Focus on making more chunks. So let's stick to these for now. We could help with this by putting a one of these directly at the output of this. Also, the water in. I think we really need to just produce a lot more water. Which means a lot more of this. Didn't we make a setup where we clarify that directly? fit one of these in there actually as well. Mm-hmm. Questions questions. I really wish to redo all of this to be honest. But it's just too much work. But we have so many producers of purified water. Each set up in their own way. These both produce purified water. We do have the oxygen and hydrogen production in here though, but we could remove this area. Or we could just stop being lazy and expand on this up here. Let's not make too many mistakes this time.
Let's go big on this. Need some more beacons. Did we bring our train here? No. Where did we leave it? Down here. So we need both beacons and speed modules. Come on. So hopefully then shows enough purified water. Let's design a little bit differently. I want these a little bit different. Or something like that, maybe. We can't fit it in on the other direction, so this should be better. Do we have some machines lying around for this? Yep. Let's grab some of those as well. Input. Output. A blueprint for inserting to this sort of machine. No. Well, of course, we can only do this if we have enough barrels. And we don't. So we need more steel.
good. Lots and lots of barrels. So now those have limits instead of the, only the inputs being limited. Not sure if it makes much of a great difference, but I wanted it like that. Wastewater fast enough. Do have one to one of all of this or all of the pumps. We've limited it on the input. This should really have been on this side. Let's design something new instead. New is always more fun. What do we get most of here? Purified water. So we can do something like that. is actually shorter and more efficient. Instead, those double requesting that stuff. Requesting those. Actually, remove these now, right? And fit this in.
don't seem to be able to get rid of the knife of Eastwater. All of these seem to be working well ish. Well, the new ones, just these are not so great. Junk junk. So this actually takes up more space than this did before, because we have twice as many pumps per flotation cell. But on the other hand, they're fully efficient, at least the flotation cells. Let's see how this balances out. Hopefully it's not too bad. So many heroes. We really need to take care of them over here. Actually we have trains waiting. What is wrong with these and so let us come on? Is it me who have done stupid things? Like saying that we should keep some? Why did I do that? Maybe because we wanted to crush them? say some percentage of the train is full, like 90% full. Item count, I guess. Anything? Can we not have that? Nope. What if we don't put anything in? And we go above 16,000. Let's see when it gets back. I might just be preventing it from leaving like that. Let's let these two run, I guess. Or we just use all of the crushed stuff. The train we get back yet. It should be here soon, right? Maybe not. Because it's not empty, I guess, so, of course. Are we not supposed to be shifting this stuff to prevent this? Hmm. Anyway, let's just get it over here.
not the worst outcome. Yeah, it's not full, and well, it's 16,000. There's only one wagon actually, so it should be about 60,000. But we can't really say all of the geodes, so maybe this is not how we want to do it. And there are really no circuit conditions in here. I just want anything. Or everything, actually. Guess not. What about inactivity? Sure. At least that rush stuff, but that's really not supposed to be happening here, right? Well, I guess we're doing it for the stone. But we don't want to have to export all of this crystal dust. We should keep doing that though. But we should get over there and make sure that if we have enough of everything, then we clarify some of that. What's uh, it called? Crystal slurry. So this stuff. Yeah. It is crystal story, yes. enough of those barrels. And I would say also only if we have plenty of both of these, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's just stick to the barrels. So now we are using all of this at least. I guess we should then also crush these here. 
Though again, wouldn't we rather have the stone over at the resource processing area? And the answer to that is yes. But would I rather have the crushing here though? This can potentially block other trains from coming in. This only works if we have more than a hundred barrels, five hundred barrels. Isn't that a bit weird? Isn't it supposed to be the other way around? So if we don't have a lot of barrels, we do this. On the other hand, no. We should be using those and we should not be using these. Why are these even green? Because if we need just one of these, we're letting it through, I guess. This is such a complicated setup and it doesn't even achieve what we want, I don't think. I want these to be working, but I don't want this to be running while we have all of this stuff. So, let's disconnect. Oh, actually, reconnect. But say if we have less than 100, 500. Waiting for source items, what? It's built, okay. We need ceramic filters in it. What? What happened to all of the filters then? Are they just in single machines like this? Several machines like that, I guess. Mm. Have a bunch of this stuff. Now I want to redo all of this. Because we did this just before we started doing everything by robot or barreling stuff up. Mm. As we're not barreling up any of this and then clarifying, so we're not getting rid of the Geodes. And we need to stop that. We can always reconnect this later. I don't want those. It seems stupid. We should just have insert us by each type and then limit per type. Oh, 
But hey, at least we're using this dust stuff. We still need to use more geodes, though. Is it time to redo this? I guess. Mm. Could also just barrel up from these. Let's start redoing stuff. Yeah. So we basically want everything of this stuff. These will require us to unbarrel stuff next to them instead of feeding directly through pipe. this needs to go right. At least it will. I guess we should take the old school beacons as well. Actually, let's drop all of this stuff there, except for the robots. Good. Still want one space here for. Well, an underground pipe or something like that. But we should be able to build here, I think.
How are we going to do this, Will? Not with Google filter, with ceramic filter, please. We have two inputs and outputs for each of these. Would we rather have two of these on each side then I have underground pipes? That's gonna be a long setup. Or we could do something like this, I guess. Crystal slurry and sulfuric wastewater are the two low. Crystal slurry in low, sulfuric wastewater out low. Low amounts, I mean. So this is good, this is less good. Because then we have a high amount going through a pipe like that. But do we care enough to move this over one tile and use the extra space? I guess so. So something like this. We need an input and output from this enemy. Okay. Sorry, didn't put an output in. Purified water. Only two barrel of purified water. Okay. This needs to barrel of crystal seeping. This needs to bury a barrel of purified water. Oh no, sorry, sulfuric waste one. And we then need to get that sulfuric waste water down here. Luckily, we have the space for. But we have barreling pumps. Oh. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.